You got LeBron. You got LeBron. It's going to be very hard for his kids. LeBron pretty upset. To LeVar Ball saying, quote, keep my kid's name out of your mouth. Keep my family out of your mouth. This is dad to dad. It's a problem now. He can talk all about his brand, talk about his sons, talk about basketball, talk about me, but keep my family out of this. Like LeBron's son, LeBron right, Jr., right, right. who's playing great. And you're seeing NBA players whose sons are coming up and looking like they're going to be NBA players. Well, here, here's out? the thing. you got to play the, the odds and the percentages. There have been a lot of great players, and all their sons are whack. Kareem got a son? No. Magic Jordan's got some son sons. Make it. Yeah. Uh, Jordan got sons. Yeah. You know, Shaq got sons. His but son's pretty good, too. His son is all right. The monsters in the NBA, they dads wasn't that good. They were okay. They was players. Kobe Bryant, his dad wasn't all that. That's why he's such a monster. So you look at it, you got LeBron. You got LeBron. It's going to be very hard for his kids to because they're not going to look at him as LeBron's kids. They're going to be like, you better be just like your dad. And then after a while, that pressure starts sitting on you because it's like, wow, why got to be like him? Why can't it just be me? Bronny James Stephen A has declared for the 2024 NBA draft after just one season at USC. Bronny's got a lot to prove. It should not be in the NBA because based on his resume in his first year in college, Matter of fact, it might behoove him to get away from California because that's where his daddy plays. And as a result, it might come to the games, continue to bring more attention on him instead of him having the peace of mind to go someplace else where he could just work on his game, flourish without the pressure inordinately on his shoulders. The expectation is very, very high. My boys are good, great, but let's say I really excelled in football and made millions and millions of dollars. Do I spend that time with him now? No. Got the off season, I gotta worry about myself. Now I just buy you everything. Now I get you a trainer and hope you turn out to be okay. Where the fact that I wasn't all that allows me to spend all that time and make my boys all that. He is not an NBA level player. For this season, Bronny averaged 19 minutes a game, 4.8 points, 2.8 rebounds, 2.1 assists, while shooting only 37% from the floor and 27% from three. Man, you're watching your son and you want what's best for him and as a father. And, but clearly, clearly he needs some, some more work. 67% from the free, free throw line, line yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. None of it great. Think about it. Anybody who already had that expectation a lot of their fathers don't want to put all that weight on them because people don't look at them as, as what they were. And it's kind of hard. Do you ever worry when you make all the predictions you've made right. that if it doesn't happen, then what? Nothing. I'm going to go take a nap, eat me some donuts, and I'm going to be cool. <laughs> LeVar didn't say anything negative about Bronny or LeBron. He actually recognized LeBron's greatness by comparing him to Mike, Kareem, and Magic, and he told the world to lower their expectations of his son. Uh, the suggestion is right, that you two right. guys can't coexist. You buy that? You know what, how can we, we gotta worry about coexisting. He playing on the court and I'm off the court. Quit worrying about me. They did all that negativity and he still came. So that's letting you know right there. Me and LeBron to get along. He come off the court, I'm gonna say, hey LeBron, what's going on, man? A lot of people were caught off guard by LeBron and LeVar's embrace and quick conversation. A lot of my dudes was like, Hey, LeVar, you know what Chris said? Man, that's what Chris does. He commentates and analyzes things. So you can't knock a guy from either going this way or that way yeah, yeah, until yeah, you yeah. get to know a guy. Because what they do is they look at me and they say, wow, he big, he bald-headed, he look crazy, he ready to tear something <laughs> up. But when I'm taking pictures with kids, they think it's like, oh, he trying to make some money. No, I love them folks. You can come up and I got time, I'm going to take a photo with you. Yep, it's no big yep. deal. 
and they expect something totally different coming from me. <laughs> Ball facts. I got one sentence for you. Keep doing your thing. Y'all getting it in. Keep doing your thing. Ball facts. James. LeBron James has captivated this generation, and LaMelo and Lonzo are no exception. To most of this generation, to follow in his footsteps in any way would be an honor. This is the, uh, the billboard here. That's tough. That's hard right there. I like that. That's tough. And this is not a recent discovery. The Ball brothers have been fans of LeBron James for some time now. Uh, LeBron is your favorite player? Yeah, he was when I was growing up. Uh, you know, my favorite player to watch. Yeah, like I said, I looked up to him when I was a kid. If you were a kid in the 2000s, you were raised in the LeBron age. On the East, he was the king. Kids had seen nothing like him, a freak of nature with special talents. And in this social media era, kids can show more support for their favorite players than ever. LaMelo is often seen retweeting things that LeBron has said on Twitter. From a young age, Lonzo was captivated. Just the way he played, I mean, I thought he can go out and probably get 40, 50 every night, but you know, he decides to pass and you know, rebound and do all the other things to help the team win. So it was a very, very huge deal when Lonzo found out he would be playing with LeBron James. I mean, it was crazy for me because I didn't know what to say to him the first time because it was like, for me, I've been watching him my whole life and I had all his jerseys and everything. I know you're happy to play with LeBron, bro. Of course. And I see him in the locker room, it's like, it's crazy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be crazy that you get to play with LeBron next season. Look how hard Jello's cheesing. These boys love LeBron James. Like my generation, I think it's either LeBron, you got, you got LeBron or you get Kobe. You feel me? And the way I played my whole life was more towards him. I want to get triple doubles. I want to help the team win all. Lonzo chose LeBron over Kobe. People are very opinionated when it comes to comparing anyone to Kobe Bryant, but some people like to do it. And here it is, Lonzo did it, and LaMelo tweeted about it as well, showing that he really believes that LeBron James is that guy. Honestly, didn't really get comfortable with you until after All-Star. Like, <laughs> I was kind of on edge. Like, I don't know how to be around him, because it was like, I've never really been around somebody that I looked up to like that. Lonzo, not used to being starstruck, walked into the locker room and couldn't believe his eyes. He was face to face with LeBron James. You know, I love the game and he was my favorite player. So like, I think it's always what between- Was, was, was. <laughs> Kuzma, threes. LaMelo. Mm. I think it's, you know, damn good to be um, his age. Um, you know, his, um, you know, his speed, his quickness, his ability to, uh, you know, make shots at all facets, you know, in the paint, you know, floaters, um, threes. Um, he has a three tier already um, and he's going to only get better. Every game is a learning experience for him. Um, he's going to get better and better, um, you know, as the season goes on, as his career goes on and so on and so on. So, um, you know, you know he's a, him and, and Zoe um, are two, um, you know, just very unique players in our league.